won my card. Roach has closed the gap in the last couple of rounds to end up all level. Because again, Dixon seems to be coasting, just looking for that final bell to sound. Lovely right hand went in there from Derek Roach and an uppercut. That's blood streaming now from both eyes of Roach. But he's going for the finish. Right hand catches Dixon and waddles in. Dixon holds on. Oh, he'll want to see the bell, whatever the result. Such a proud man, Scott Dixon, as he's shown tonight. But has Roach just done enough over the back end of this to win that non-cell belt? Let's see. And Derek Roach wins that non-cell belt outright. Scott Dixon is amazed. It'll be interesting to see how Dave Paris has scored that. Dixon looks gutted after everything he's done. Jim, you had it a draw. Yep, I cannot complain. That, that was exactly the kind of fight you can never argue with the referee's decision because so many of the rounds were so close. I had Dixon two points in front with two rounds to go, but I scored both of the last two rounds to Derek Roach, level on my card, so I had him retaining his championship through a draw. I'm going to be very interested to hear Dave Paris' uh, mathematics here, how he actually scored the fight. Well, Derek Roach may still be British champion, but Scott Dixon looks down at us at ringside. He cannot believe it. it surely was one of the British title fights of the decade. Let's see how Dave Paris added the scores up. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dave Paris has insisted that you congratulate both boxers on 12 very hard-fought rounds. Thank you very much indeed. His scorecard reads for Dixon, 114 points. For Roach, 117 points. The winner, and the outright winner of the coveted Lonsdale Bell, the British Waterway Champion. Well, Roach wins by three rounds, and I think that may be a little bit too wide. It was a closer, more titanic fight than matches. Well, as I say, I'm never going to argue with a referee's decision in a fight like that. So many of the rounds close. I, I had it a lot closer than that, obviously. I couldn't have it any closer. I had it level. But uh, no, that, that surprises me. No way did I say. I thought Roach was struggling for, in a great part of tonight's action. Well done to both men for such a terrific performance in the ring here in Coventry. Derek Roach wins the title. Scott Dixon wins many people's hearts with his desire and courage. Derek Roach, Scott Dixon, what a titanic struggle. How could the referee separate you? Derek first. Well, personally, going into the last round, I thought he was a couple of rounds ahead. He was a big last round. I but, so. but you basically thought Scott had won it. I thought he was ahead. I thought he was a couple of rounds ahead. Like I say, I have to see the video. You know, you never can tell, but got me some good shots. Good. Very good. That's very honest of him, isn't it, Scott? Yeah, very. I respect that. Derek's a great fighter. I gave it a real good go, but I did think I won the fight by at least three rounds. To be honest, that's my interpretation. I really did think I was ahead. My trainers kept telling me, you're ahead, you're ahead. Just keep boxing, keep boxing. I tried, but it wasn't enough. You were down three times. How on earth did you get up from some of those shots? Yeah, it caught me a, a beautiful shot around the side, and I was just trying to hold it. I suppose I, I have damage there, but... It was, did you think you'd get up? I didn't think you'd... I thought the headshots here, yeah, because I think I caught them high on the forehead. But uh, the body shot, I thought, no way will he get up. And you know, I take my hat off to him, greatest respect he got up. A lot of guys wouldn't have got up from that. I caught him perfect. You know, he can feel the punch sinking into his body and he, he took it. Play. You win that Lonsdale belt outright, but surely the hardest fight of your career. And can you let Scott have a little touch of it? Here, he, he deserves it. He deserves uh, it. Please, let me have that next. Personally, I think, think he's the next fight well to wait in the country. Thank you for such a titanic battle. Thank you. Astonishing grit from bro from both, I think you'll agree. Nicky Piper, did you agree with the decision? I wouldn't disagree with it. It could have gone either way, and um, it was a very exciting fight. Don't forget, it was three knockdowns to two, which means that there's three 10-8 rounds to two 10-8 rounds. There's two, two points of advantage there on the knockdowns alone. And um, as they said in the interview, I mean, both fighters did very did very well to get up from um, the knockdowns. That one wasn't so bad, but this one, delayed reaction, the legs, some term, it was a serious get up, more so from these knockdowns, the body punches were great. He's not looking there, and if you're not seeing a punch coming, it's, it's hard to tense up and, and tense those stomach muscles. Uh, bit of inexperience, but he'll need to overcome that. But uh, he threw three or four left hooks, which Roach blocked, and then the fourth one got through. Again, it, it amazes me. Robert McCracken. 
Yeah, it was a, it was a very close fight. If you wanted Roach's aggression or, or Dixon's boxing ability, but what Dixon's got to learn from that is he coasted the last two rounds, and you just can't do that in a championship fight. Chris, do you share the enthusiasm of, of our commentators tonight that this was a, a memorable fight of the decade contender? Well, you see, in regards to grit, yes, and staying power, not not quitting, yeah, very very good, very good. Brings me to a, uh, it makes me think of a poem that goes like this. I wonder when you'd get to that. Go oh, on then. Okay. Now's well, your I mean, moment. It's, it's but be quick, where, Where's my camera? <laughs> that one's straight that in front one, of that you. One, okay, here we go. <laughs> when things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all up full, when the funds are low and the debts are high and you want to smile, when care is pressed, but don't you quit. You see, life is filled with twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns. And many a failure turns about where he might have won had he stuck it out. So don't give up, though the pace seems slow. You may succeed with another blow. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint of the cloud of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are. It may be near, but seen so far. So stick to the fight when your hardest hit. It's when things seem worse that you must not quit. Which is what those men didn't do. They did not quit, which is why it's uh well showing valor and grit is, is is the way in which to conduct yourself while fighting yeah yeah thank you very much indeed you. you've made a big impression on robert mccracken in particular <laughs> uh just sum up that one for us in terms of where these fighters are going robert uh, uh, welterweight roach first yeah i think roach will relinquish the british title now and try and get a shot at the european as for Dixon, he's got to regroup and come again, and uh, hopefully they'll match Spencer McCracken with Scott Dixon for the title. More prosaically, here's a summary of all we've brought you from Coventry. The first half of our big bill tonight.